Cabinet is meeting today to discuss a range of measures aimed at addressing the rising cost of living. Meanwhile, Minister for State with Responsibility for Financial Services, Sean Fleming, has gotten himself into hot water by suggesting people should shop around instead of complaining about cost of living issues. What do you make of it? Well, let's put that question uh, to Piers Doherty, Sinn Féin's finance spokesperson. What would you like to see the government do, Piers? Well, I think the government need to finally get their act together and actually deal with this issue. Uh, Shane, we've been raising the issue of cost of living for well over half a year now. and We've been arguing that the cost of uh, energy uh, needs to be reduced. We put forward proposals to the government in relation to doing that, whether it's reduction of VAT and engaging with the Commission of it, or it's actually a direct rebate into households. Uh, Six months later, they're starting to look at this. We still have legislation that's only coming before the House, and indeed the, 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 the type of way that they're doing this in in my view isn't isn't right for example holiday homes will get the this payment i don't think that's right i believe that there should be uh, additional payments for those on lower incomes because if you look at what actually is happening uh, in terms of energy prices and i uh, had the opportunity to meet with the uh, the regulator of utilities yesterday and our team uh, you can see that in some cases energy prices for electricity has gone up by over 700 euro per annum but not everybody feels that equally so the lower income households spend three Three times as much of their income on energy and heating their uh, their, their, their house and lighting their house uh, than does the top uh, households, income households. Those in the middle spend about twice. So that's why it needs to be directed, it needs to be targeted. Uh, and I think, you know, what we hear from the, the government and particularly from Sean Fleming yesterday was just tone deaf, was a symptom of where this government's at. For six months, they bury their head in the sand, they're doing nothing about it. Now they're scrambling around trying to find out how they deal with this issue. So there is a way of dealing with it, having it targeted. And okay. Uh, we we, we get back to Sean Fleming in, in a second, measures, Pierce. There's also other measures that are needed as well. We get back to Sean Fleming in, in in a second, but you mentioned the the cut in VAT, like that that would take a hell of a long time. You'd have to you'd have to engage with the European Commission on that. It would take a long, long time, and then you're left with a permanent cut in VAT. And when when energy prices at some point, hopefully they will stabilise, you've reduced the the the, uh, the exchequer tax take. Well, first of all, um, so we can reduce that by uh, going down to 12%. It's a small reduction, but every little bit helps. That doesn't take any length of time whatsoever. It should have happened in the finance bill. It should have been in place by this time. But what and can you then put it remember, back up at a, at a short notice as well? Yes, or are you, you can, restricted? You can, yeah. No, you can. You can t- put it down to 12% and put it back up to 13 and a half. There's no issue with that whatsoever. Okay. The only question is, is can you temporarily put it down to zero, which is what we would like to do. Uh, we've seen that the Czech Republic, for example, reduced their zero rate, their bad rate on energy bills over uh, the, the period of the winter. And yeah, Shane, when we're talking about this here in February, you're saying, yeah, that's going to take a long time. Sinn Féin have been talking to the government and arguing with the government to take an, to take a response to this issue back in September. We've been at the government for over six months. Well, they did make changes. They, they increased the fuel allowance. allowance. They changed eligibility. Yeah, they, did. they made changes. You know what changes they made? Within three months, they're going to put up the price of gas and electricity. Uh, uh, sorry, gas uh, and oil. And what, what, how are they doing that? They're putting more carbon tax on this. So you have government leaders meeting yesterday. You have a series of ministers meeting over this week talking about how we reduce the burden on individuals in terms of energy crisis. Home heat and oil has gone up by over 50%. Gas and yeah, electricity not, that's, not the that's not the government's but, fault. That's not the government's fault, in but, fairness. No, but what, the government, what the government are doing on the 1st of May is they're going to increase those prices more by putting carbon tax on top of those prices. To, to, save, to, no help, save, to, help, to help save the planet. Well, look, look, to tell you, I don't know many households that on the 1st of May are going to decide to consume less electricity, less gas, because they're going to heat their homes. They're going to basically be more poor. And that's the reality. We need more alternatives before you introduce measures like this. So and to hell time, with climate change. Again, at a time. At a time, no, not at all. Absolutely not at all. Let's make the investment that's needed in areas such as road, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of retrofitting. Let's look at the transition that is required. But if you're telling a household in Dublin or in Donegal that the government is planning to increase the price of gas, which you're using to, ho- to heat your home, which has already gone up by about €700 Euro for many households per annum, and this is going to save the planet, then you know people are saying, no, that's not. That's going to make me poor. And especially if I'm on the lower income, comes then I don't have an alternative I don't have thousands of euros sitting around in my house to actually change but the they are also bringing in a retrofitting scheme so it's it's kind of carrot and stick and every expert every expert bar none on climate change says carbon taxes are an essential tool 
carbon, ta- carbon taxes, like any behavioural taxes, can work when the alternatives are there. So retrofitting is exactly what we need to be here, and we need to be seeing ambitious investment, and we'll look at the plans that the government are going to announce when Cabinet come in. But let me be clear, that's not happening today or tomorrow. The plans are there, there'll be an announcement, but this is going to take a while to bed in. The problem is that energy costs are rising right here, right now. The problem is, is that families are falling into poverty right here, right now. Okay. The problem is the government still plans to increase the cost of, 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 of gas uh, and oil coming up uh, in May. They plan to increase the cost of petrol and diesel then again in September and again in October. That isn't the right response when we're talking about the cost of living. But there are other things they can do. We've been talking to them about rents for the last five years, uh, telling them that they needed to freeze rents, but more important, put money back into renters' pockets, the equivalent of one month. Rent has increased by over 8% in the last year. This okay. is a way that they can deal with the cost of living. Well, there, there, I mean, let's not get pooped. There's been lots of actions on rent, but let's, let's not get too bogged down yes, on rent. the action g- has been... No, let me just yeah. make this point because yeah. you make the, the action that people are seeing on rent is every single year their rent is going up yeah. to the point where people in Dublin are paying an average of nineteen hundred euro in rent every single year. It's going up, and yeah. it needs to stop. And, and, and Pierce, the idea that you can the idea people. you can simplistically change that with one piece, piece of legislation, I'm not sure anyone thinks that's that's remotely credible. But can I ask you sure, about we had a we had we had a rent refund rebate right yeah. through the eighties, the nineties, the noughties, and the tens. We had it going up to the last five years. It used to exist in our tax code. We can introduce it again. What okay. we have in this government is a lack of ambition and a government that's out of touch. And therefore, All right. you, mentioned no Sean Fla- you mentioned Sean Fla- Fleming and you, they said he was he was out of touch. Do you think people should, is it worth shopping around? Is it is it worth, um, like for, particularly for energy costs, was he wrong to say that? That, that, well, first of all, I thought his, and I listened, to, didn't hear it live, but I listened back to his interview and the the arrogance, the out of touchness of of, of Sean Fleming. Was it and arrogance? It is, was it more? Look, was it not just clumsy? Was he not just encouraging people? Uh, and uh, look, we've we've had items on on this show about uh, you know how how you can help save uh, cut costs, and and a lot of the advice is shop around. Like, was it not clumsy more than anything else? Well, first of all, look at the people who are impacted as a result of the cost of living crisis. Many of those issues that are under the control of the government, as I mentioned, for example, rents, they know how to budget their house as best as they can. To have Sean Fleming, who sits on €140,000 plus, lecture them, do, do, do as I do, and, and, and telling them to stop complaining about the government's inaction, yeah, yeah he, he's issued a statement saying acceptable. he's issued a statement saying that wasn't his intention, and he apologised well, for that. He didn't intend was, to employ was, people who shouldn't shouldn't complain. But can I ask you again? Like, should people shop was, around? Can I just make this point? He was making this. He he was given ample opportunity to clarify, and he didn't. He actually well, he he he, he, sort of, he, he, and, he did kind of clar- he did actually c- kind of clarify saying I'm, I'm talking about the opposition the complaining. But sorry, can I no? Can I? Yeah, well, could you answer all, the question me, I asked you? Should should people shop around? Look, well, I'll give you an example. In, in terms of insurance, we've always encouraged people to, sh- to shop around. But let me make this point. Yeah, but that's all there's he a piece did. Of legislation. No, there's a piece of legislation before the doll over seven months ago that would impose an obligation on insurance companies, the same that exists in Britain, to pass on the reductions and awards to their consumers. Sean Fleming, every single member of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and the Greens are blocking that legislation. So Sean Fleming goes on yeah. RT Radio on our national airwaves. It, that, that hasn't worked in the UK, by the way. Government. That hasn't worked in the UK. Actually, that's not true. That's not true because th- 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 this is about the awards that's, that's, uh, that was introduced in terms of the reduction of whiplash. They have to report to the central bank, uh, the FCA every year, how those uh, awards are being passed on to consumers. Uh, that legislation has taken effect and that reporting series will start to begin. Okay. Uh, so the, the point here is we haven't done that. We have legislation that's supported okay. by the Alliance of but, but so Can, can I come back to Sean action. Fleming's uh, uh, central point about shopping around? What's wrong with actually asking people to shop around or advising people to shop around? Like, like have, you, have you looked at your own electricity? Would you, uh, have you changed your electricity supplier? Shane, there is nothing wrong with anybody encouraging anybody to shop around. Indeed, when I met with the regulators utility yesterday, one of the things we were talking about is their campaign to in, in terms of consumer protection. But that isn't what Sean Fleming did. Sean Fleming went on national radio. A government that's supposed to take action. For example, those who are in social welfare, they need a, social, a core social welfare payment increase of €5 Euro to keep with the cost of inflation. 
That needs a government response. Rents need to be frozen and money put back in people's pockets. That needs a government response. There are things outside of the control of of the people. There are things inside the control of the government. And Sean Fleming and Cabinet has done nothing about this for the last six months. And they shouldn't be pontificating. They are bringing bringing a suite of measures uh, this week. And and, and look, no doubt you will have uh, plenty to say about that when it does happen. But thank you indeed for talking to us this morning. Pierce Doherty, Sinn Féin Finance Spokesperson.